I've, um, I went f I've been following the discussions this afternoon, and I, I think uh, I'm not so sure if what I'm going to say has a lot of sense in this context, but anyway. Uh, you'll be the judge of that. Um, the, the first thing I, I, I notice is that there's always the matter of from, from where are you looking at things. Um, I think we all bring different perspectives, both professional, academic, and uh, like roles in our societies, respective societies. We, we try to achieve different things through what we do. And that sort of uh, show us, shows us that uh, there are different approaches that can be used to understand the same issue, for instance. When I read about the network society, I start thinking of all the books by Manuel Castells I ever have to read, <laughs> because it's uh, something I have to do as a university professor. Uh, but so it, it comes as a sort of a very well uh, needed concept. Not necessarily I agree with it, but it's a concept that brings a number of issues with itself. For instance, the notion of a different kind of uh, society that has been created by information availability and so on. From the perspective I work from, uh, I don't think that's really an issue here. I mean, there's a lot of people in a lot of places all around the world using digital media through ICTs to do things, a number of things. And that's the main point we, uh, we all address in our work. Not necessarily if there is a network society by itself or an information society or anything like that. There are realities in the form of connections and just yes, networks that exist through the interactions of people all around the world. And that's my starting point because it's, uh, it's manifestations of individual agency, what we're looking at. I mean, individuals doing things. They can be uh, things around consumption or there can be things around uh, political participation, or trying to build collective agency, which are different things. But in the end, it, it starts with people, people doing things in specific places. M my mother used to say that uh, for a carpenter, everything looks like nails. And, and <laughs> being sort of a political scientist, everything looks like power, but also there's another dimension that has been sort of been creeping around us all this afternoon, but no, nobody has dared to name it, and it's the nation state. Um, all the discussions go through nation states, while consumption increasingly doesn't. Consumption exists in a different level, in a sort of a wonderful new dimension of interactions created by international treaties, agreements, and corporations that are trying to create a new world of exchanges that are beyond us in terms of our agency as voters, as citizens. So it's, it's fascinating when we see that citizens, citizenry, the condition of being a citizen, is uh, increasingly disappearing from these debates. We are, uh, we are consumers, and we are empowered as consumers with each new device we get access to. And the reason a lot of people try to get included <laughs> Actually, I will say to get access to all these services is to become consumers. That opens, that opens doors for new activities and perhaps for political participation. But the main reason we have to be, uh, it's more or less obvious, comes from consumption. And that brings another problem, which is what kind of networks we are creating through uh, diffusion of technology. Uh, networks in terms of interactions, in terms of exchanges, and in terms of the materiality of technology expressed in the way we change our lives, change our homes, change our practices every day. That can, some, some, these things can be mapped, these things can be identified, and the way our lives are being lived has been changed through these uh, new technologies, these technologies that have changed. Uh, specific aspects, aspects of our lives. Uh, so access, for me, is very difficult to inclusion. Access is something that can be achieved through just going to a store and buying a telephone. Inclusion is a different condition. So it demands a different conceptualization than access. It has to be separated. Why? Because 
what I think is that access is basically a way to developing consumer agency, in the way that we, have, we are able to do more through technology in terms of consuming, uh, well, from uh, symbolic materials like uh, music and books and whatever, and actual consumption in terms of buying things or selling things. Um, I don't want to dwell a lot in this, but there's, well, that's more or less the paper what I, that I brought for this. Uh, and, and this is a process that can be called, for instance, convergence culture or fan cultures, globalized consumption. But it's a manifestation of the main issue brought by, to individuals by digital media, agency transformation. The individual is in a different position, potentially more connected and less constrained by traditional boundaries of social, political, and economic conditions. So individuals can, and that's something that has been dis mentioned here, uh, transformation in the way that you define your identity, because you have new opportunities to do that. But at the same time, that kind of interactions that bring new opportunities for your identity to ex be expressed uh, sometimes are only happening in the digital realm without any direct manifestation in social, uh, real, physical spaces. And that brings me back to the issue of the nation state. Participation and activities in the digital uh, arena not necessarily transform, become, participation in the political, in the real political uh, world, basically because some nation states are more flexible or have more, uh, they are more adaptable to deal, to deals, to dealing with this kind of emerging issues, and some other st nation states tend to be more uh, close to innovation in terms of po uh, policy discussions. And on the other side, the people that is connected through technology have significant issues trying to become collective actors. Because that's the difficult part in a democracy. You need to become a collective actor. Unless you want to be just a voter, somebody who votes uh, from time to time, and that's it. The creation of collective agency is the main thing being discussed by political scientists working in this, for instance. Uh, Individuals may engage through their interests into collective groupings or associative clusters, but this may not bring collect, uh, agency, especially collective agency, into the long-winded and difficult process of defining policies. This creates stress points in this new uh, web of connections created through digital technologies. Uh, these stress points create uh, conflicts, another word that was brought before into this discussion, and uh, tells us something about how power is created in our societies. Uh, what I think, what I've been following and trying to sort of uh, organize in my writing recently, is the issue that uh, power is being diffused upstream into uh, this sort of shady collection of bureaucrats, corporations, and international actors that are defined in the way that trade is conducted and some other uh, important aspects of our societies are conducted. And at the same time, it's being diffused f uh, away from citizens in the way of uh, allowing everybody to become a better consumer, but uh, constraining the ways of acting politically in our societies. That's what I will say is the main stress point we're dealing with in the coming years. It has very little to do with network society, and perhaps it demands us to think in terms of what are we asking to be included into. Because uh, inclusion as an action does, doesn't necessarily become a, a value in itself. It's something we liked because it seems the logical next step, but it doesn't mean necessarily that it will bring a better quality of life for all, and specifically for the communities and populations that we normally are concerned with. So uh, that's more or less what I was wanted to share with you, and uh, I don't know if it makes much sense or not, but uh, I can assure you in Spanish it's much, much sensible. <laughs>